Alright guys, welcome back to my channel for week number 182. So starting us off, we've got Pedantic Squirrel. I'm guessing he's the one in front here. And that is uh, the first part of the plan. Because as we come to start another lap here, we're going to go and edge ever closer to that pit wall and try and lure this BMW into following him. And he's going to manage to do it. It's the second time we've seen that in recent weeks. So guys are certainly getting quite clever out there. And then next up we have got Toga with his self-admitted one. Now this at times might look like he's dirty, but I know he's not a dirty driver. Uh, he just had a bit of a mishap. So we got this car catching up, being quite a lot quicker on the straights. Can lose a bit of control and uh, just block that S2000. There's nothing you could do about that. And I think he hit the grass and swerved into that guy. And then he's going to end up uh, spinning off as a result. He would probably say he could have avoided that. And then next up we have got Scorpio, again self-admitted, he's leading this race. I don't know if anyone else has pitted, but uh, he's going to crash himself into that tire wall that so many people crash into, and he's going to have to serve his pits at the end of that lap to repair his car. Uh, oddly he didn't lose much time from that. And then next up at 7, we have got Snooty, who's going to go for an incredible late break here, so I just want you to witness this. Um, and we've got a whole bunch of these Audis, so all the same brakes, and he's going to send it there, but someone else is going to send it even harder and just dive bomb straight in there. Unfortunately, penalties were off, and now we're going to be about three wide off the track, and unfortunately, nothing bad happened to that chap. And then next up at six, we have got Carver leading the race once again, self-admitted one here. Uh, so he's coming to start a new lap at Road America and he's going to hit the curb there, catch a bit of sim twitch as he is so famous for doing. And I just want to say, if I was the guy in second place and I overtook a car like that, I probably would have been in absolute hysterics overtaking a car who's put himself 10 meters in the air. And then in at 5, we have got Hooper and doing an open track day. So this guy in front is in the same car. And he's going to get overtaken here, which he's not going to be too happy about as we jump ahead. Because he's going to go for an almighty punt at the first braking zone and miss out at about 200 miles an hour. And then coming in at 4, we have got the almighty ghosting system. But first we've got McChucky hitting every single wall he can find. And eventually ending up with the tire wall. And then the ghosting system is going to come into its own and just uh, end up with more carnage than was necessary really and then in that three we have got the star of the show again the ghosting system and it's again on prague it seems to happen a lot on prague i think it's just because it's a street circuit and there's walls everywhere but um we're gonna have these guys crashing here we're gonna manage to split them mostly until that blue car got clipped and we're still not going to be ghosted even though we have actually left the ground uh, briefly and uh, eventually we are going to ghost but not before a great amount of damage was done and then in at two we have got spent and the mustang up ahead doesn't like anyone getting past him so he's going to swerve into the car on the right and then another one on the left as that guy uh, was gaining as he tried to block the other chap uh, so now spent is in front of him and he's going to again very predictable try and go for spent spent's going to uh, use his power against him, put him in the tire wall, that's pretty much where he should be. Know your place, trash! And then in at one, well what could top that? Well, we've got this guy who had a real hard on for ramming gunner here it seemed, because we're gonna have one failure here at this first corner at Mugello, and then we're gonna jump not to another lap, but to another race entirely, as he's now got gunner in front of him again, and surely we've got to get it right this time, right? Um, but he's actually going to manage to split the cars there, crash into the tire wall, end up looking like a complete buffoon in the process. But he's not done. He's got to try again, right? So this time we're at VIR, and uh, we're going to have another go at Gunner and miss out again. But still, the determination is strong with this one. Uh, we're going to cut the first corner at Hockenheim and run wide, nearly spin it in the sand. And Gunner's going to get past. This could have been what set it all off. Who knows? He was very upset about getting overtaken. But he's going to go for the ram here. 
and uh, maybe not because he kind of saw it coming so he was a predictable man so in some bonus tips but before we get into those if you enjoyed the video and you'd like to leave a comment you want to go ahead and join the engagement gang like the guys on screen right now and if you're new on here go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos but we're starting us off here on wreck fest we oh, obviously crashing is the name of the game here literally as this guy's going to try and crash into death angel it's going to backfire it's going to end up with him in the gravel and then we have got Accela and racing on Spa in F1 2019 coming to get past this guy who has now got the lead and this guy's going to try and block and end up um, making Accela lose control and getting punted off as a result so that was a, a strange way to get the overtake and then of all games we're on Far Cry 3 there is a car involved that's why we have an AI who's just going to forget how to drive really and then he's going to remember after that bridge how to drive with his after his brush with death and then we've got c james to end us off what could go wrong crashing at 300 miles an hour well you're going to go slightly airborne before you do so and then your car's going to end up literally flat as a pancake and sinking a bit like the titanic so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have got any luck new on check go ahead and subscribe thank you very much to my patrons whose names you're seeing on screen right now if you'd like to join them and get access to videos early the link is in the description and I'll see you guys in my next video.